Hey there guys, welcome back, Ricky here. All right, so today I wanna to address the question of do micro bevels actually work or help? Uh, I've seen people say that micro bevels will improve your knife's sharpness. Others have said that the micro bevels will increase your knife's longevity in terms of edge retention. And others have said that micro bevels will keep your knives from chipping. But you have to understand that my knife tests are not meant to replace real experience from chefs and working professionals. A micro bevel is taking essentially the sharpened edge of a knife and giving it an either a single or double additional bevel at the very cutting edge. So that's all the knives sharpen at 15 degrees on each side, giving us an effective cutting angle of 30 degrees. The knife number two has a 15 degree bevel and a 30 degree micro bevel. Knife number three had an original of 15 and 15 degree cutting angle, but we are adding 30 degree of a micro bevel on each side. We have an effective 60 degree cutting angle at the micro bevel level. So in terms of the actual stones that are being used, they're all sharpened on the Debato 1000 LD and then all polished on the Debato 6000 LD. So the first knife off of the whetstone had a sharpness level of 203 off the PT50A by edge on up. The second knife got a sharpness level of 234, just over 10% sharpness uh, or just over 10% less sharp than knife number one. The third knife was at 320. I did 50 cuts on each knife and then in between every 10 cuts I did a really quick test on the PT50A to see what their edge levels are. Consistently the knife number one and knife number two were really neck and neck. There was really no major difference between their sharpness levels um, or edge retention throughout the test. Now the two scores, the two numbers that I always ask you guys to kind of watch is the first and the last and see what the difference is between them. And so you can see knife number one started at 203 and ended at 374. Knife number two started at 234 but ended at 390. So it's less than 10% less dull than knife number one. Now there is one very specific data that I want you guys to pay attention to and this may make a difference or this may kind of speak to you in terms of what you're actually looking for is that the graph on knife number two looks to be a little bit more linear and a little bit more stable relative to knife number one where knife number one, the first two cuts actually show you the biggest I would say edge retention loss relative to knife number two. Now, if I've gone to 100 cuts on the rope, the results may actually be skewed towards the micro beveled knife. Uh, I can't confirm that. And the reason why I can't go to 100 cuts is because my wrist and my elbows, uh, I've got uh, some pretty severe damage in them at this point. So I really can't do the rope cut test very often. That's why I only do 50 cuts and you know measuring in between. So I apologize that I can't go beyond 50 cuts per knife. Uh, I wish I could, but I medically can't at this point. So one definite conclusion, micro bevels will not make your knives sharper. While I cannot confirm that micro bevels will actually give you a tougher edge for your knife, I will say that it is possible if your knife was set right, may help your knives retain your edge longer in the long run, that they do seem to give your knife a more gradual decline in edge sharpness. Now, should you set your micro bevels with a single or double? So you can see from the results here that the double micro bevel today gave me just the least desirable result in terms of overall sharpness and overall edge retention. If you were to ask me if you should set a micro bevel, I would say if you want to, go ahead, but avoid the double sided micro bevel and just go for the single. I find that it's much easier and certainly better in terms of overall sharpness and overall edge retention relative to the double micro bevel. For those who are really curious when you should set a micro bevel or if you should set a micro bevel, here's my answer. For those who have sharp knives and you're very happy with your edges and you aren't having any sort of chipping issues and nothing is really wrong other than the knives getting dull every three to four weeks, don't worry about micro bevels. I don't think that micro bevels are something that everyone should try just because you're getting into knife sharpening and somebody on YouTube or somebody on some sort of knife form is saying that your knives aren't properly sharpened unless you put a micro bevel on them. Don't listen to those people. Those are the very same people who make the knife community or the knife world very poisonous and very volatile. Those are the same people who will shame you when you buy a Yaxel Miyabi or a Kramer or a Zwilling, uh, you know, or a Shun. They only want to hear themselves speak and they only want to regurgitate what somebody else said on a forum that they agree with. There is no one way to sharpen a knife and there's no one way to maintain a knife's edge. And what you'll see on the forums and on many YouTube channels is there's only one way to do something. Don't listen to what everyone else is saying. Don't listen to what they're saying and experience everything for yourself. And that is the point of my channel. Well, obviously I wanna hear from you. To those who have set micro bevels in the past, have they been successful for you? And for those who are just getting into knife sharpening, do you feel that micro beveling is another way of the knife experts out there 
adding another step, another layer to sharpening that is taking away your enjoyment from just enjoying a sharp knife. All right, guys, without it be for today's video, I'll catch you in the next one.